Hey guys, what's up? So, I'm just going to do a quick reading. Um, I also would like to hopefully inspire everybody to activate their sexy, okay? So, it's just something I'm doing just for myself, and you can join me, you know? Totally. And this goes for both, like, men and women, because, you know what? I'm, like, just done like with the feeling like shit and um I think I just had to like accept that I was I've been like depressed you know and I've been focused on all the wrong things even though I'm still like doing all the work to like try and move past it it was like all I had to do was make a decision that um I don't want to be stuck anymore like I'm I have been in hermit mode for about a year and a half. I don't really talk to many people, but I've had to. I've had like a lot of healing going on and um, just a lot of, um, I don't know, just going through major transformation. And um, anyway, I decided I'm ready to push forward. And I want my life back. And, and it's not even that I want my life back. I just want I want, I want a life, you know, and it's like, I'm a sexy woman, <laughs> I'm a fun woman, and, you know, the way that I've been carrying myself and the way that um, I've been showing up in my, in my life, in my daily life, it's like, it's like I forgot that, you know, I mean, I normally, like, I like to wear, like, short skirts and freaking tight dresses and high heels and, like, you know, and, You know, I've like somehow forgotten the sexy that's within me just because I've um, gained weight, like from my depression, you know? So this is my favorite shirt and normally I wear it with um, this like super sexy pencil type skirt and, and heels, or I like dress it down and like wear it with... Um, little sandals and, um, super short cut off jean shorts. And, um, you know, I can't wear it with those, those things, but whatever. I have like black stretchy pants on, you know, cause you know, for now I don't fit into those things, but you know, I'm getting it back. I've been, I've been working out. I got up this morning and worked out. I've like done my meditation and I just like made a decision. It's like, and I've been doing those things, but it's like, I just made a decision like I'm done. Like I am, I'm just like so done with being sad and like just waiting. And I'm like, what the fuck am I waiting for? Like I'm in charge of my own damn life. You know what I mean? And look, look, it's just going to come to me now. So I hope I inspire you to like activate the sexy within you. Like I haven't like, I don't know, you know, like, cause just for whatever reason, yeah, see, this is where I'm at. Just fucking walking away from half-ass living. I'm taking the Nestle plunge baby and I'm fucking going for it. Like I want it all. And I know like, I have to believe that it's true. And like, I've just been looking at myself in all the wrong ways. And I feel like if I'm doing it, then there's other people out there doing it too. So, um, let's inspire each other. I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I'm going to, um, yeah, see, I'm, not, I'm, I'm over this bullshit. I'm ready to like, own my power, you know, I've come a long fucking way and you know what? I don't feel like shame. It's all been about like this. Like the other day I shared a um, thing on my Instagram about this like poem song thing that I wrote and you know, it was like super sad and I never shared that with anybody because like there's this element, I had this element of like shame attached to, you know, the man that I wrote it about, you know, my relationship with him, because it was like a secret relationship. It went on for years and nobody knew like, and like,
I don't care anymore. I am what I am, you know, and it's taken all those things. Like, it's like, here I am like talking about it and like sharing these messages. And it's like, you know, it's not just for you. It's like, it's for me too, you know? So it's like somewhere along the line that I just like forgot. Like, like there was just this, been this element of doubt. And before he died, like I just owned it. I just owned. And I was like, so it, I mean, my life was just like on fire and and then I got all shaken up and, and it's like, I don't want to think about it anymore. Like, it's just like, no, I just want my fucking life back. Like, I know who I am. I'm Lisa and I'm a fucking rock star and I'm sexy as hell. And I got a lot to fucking offer everybody, you know? And, um, it's an, like somebody once told me like, it's an honor and a privilege to be somebody's friend. It's an honor and a privilege to when somebody invites you into their life and, Vice versa. It goes both ways. You know what I mean? There's my Virgo. Showing away. Like, activate my sexy. <laughs> I'm done with the hermit mode. I'm just going to keep moving forward, you know, I, uh, I made a commitment to myself a couple days ago about like working out and, and just doing the things that I like to do. You know, I, it, I don't have to feel guilty about that just because like everybody else around me doesn't want to do that. Like, I don't care. So I'm like totally filling up my own damn cup. Okay. And I want healing, like no more, no more, no more waiting. And I know I'm not alone in this. Like I am just done fucking waiting for something to happen in my life to make me feel better. The thing that needs to happen is I need to decide that my life is fucking better like right now. And it is. <laughs> so today, after I like worked out and I did my meditation and all that stuff, like took a shower and freaking did my hair and I put makeup on and I got dressed up and like I'm not doing it anymore. I got a pretty damn good life. I don't care what anybody says when they look at it. You know what I mean? Like I got everything that I need. Like everything. All right, let's just see what the, what, let, let's see what uh, the message is for today. How long have I been talking? Eight minutes. All right, so let's do this quick. All right, so let's get three cards for the collective today. What's up today? What's the message for everybody today? Eight of Swords. This is the stuck energy. You're stuck, like, this is, this is the energy where it's like, it's up to you. Like you're trapping yourself. This is self-imposed mental conflict, which is, I can relate to. This is what you want. Stability, happy life, happy wife, like the whole fucking nine yards. That's what you want. Are you like confused about getting it? Like how to get it or how to like make the move? I'm hearing a song. Uh... To you make a move. I think it's Ariana Grande. Wow. All right. So two more, two more cards. Plus the bottom of the deck, please. Two more cards. Yeah, someone is resisting. holding back their desire for what? Like you're, this guy's about to be like pushed off the, the, um, the cliff. It's like, don't worry about them. 
you know, they'll just fall on their ass. Like you're literally going to fall off the cliff. Like you need to like fight back, tell these people to back up. <laughs> All right, let's get one more card here. One more card plus the bottom of the deck. Wow. The hermit. There's the hermit. What's underneath this hermit? Yeah. Look. Okay. Whatever it is you got to say, like, it's time to say it. Whatever it is you've been, like, trying not to do or afraid to do, like, this is go time. Look, look at this. Look at this. Okay? It's like, you're right there. Like, it's kind of like what I was just talking about. It's like, I realize like, I'm the only one that's like, I have like all these things happening in my life and I'm like making all these different moves and like things are, are coming together. And, but I was like still feeling like so stuck, you know, like this. And it's because I kept letting the thoughts that have been like in my head, like, because I, I'm like, you know, because I am this size, like, it doesn't mean that I'm sexy or like, or because um, I'm doing this job, like, um, one that everybody doesn't approve of, like, then I'm not enough because I like, I'm not, it's just all this dumb bullshit, you know, it's just freaking bullshit. And it's not stuff that I even believe in, but it's stuff, it's still been like the, this in my head, you know, and I've been like, resisting and I and, and see you guys are too somebody is too resisting this change because it's like I mean I have absolutely no idea how my life is going to turn out okay I am like literally going on this blind faith and you know what this kind of reminds me of the um twin flame reading I did I think it was last night I don't know I don't remember and um because this two of swords that's the energy I'm, I'm not getting like somebody well, somebody is not really making a choice here, but this is also about like stepping into that blind, that blind faith, just moving forward. Like, what do you want? All right. Now I'm here. Now I'm seeing that. Um, <laughs> see that, that scene from the notebook, which came up in one of my personal readings for uh, a client too. But anyway, it's the scene from the notebook. Like, what do you want? Like, you know, it's like Noah, Noah, they're like, Noah and Allie, they're like, arguing out in front of his house and she's getting ready to go back to the man that she's supposed to marry. And like, she won't admit that he loved that she loves him. Like, like she's because like either way, somebody gets hurt, you know, or something like that. Like whoever she says she loves, but he's like, what do you want? What do you want? Okay. Because as soon as you decide to step out of, I mean, like you've gone in, in, like a lot of you have probably been in like that hermit mode, like me too, you know, and trying to decide like, what the hell do you want? You know? And what I want is I want to be fucking happy. All right. I want to feel like sexy every single day. I want to smile like all the time. I know like things aren't always going to go perfectly, but like, I, I just want to have a good time. Like I am so sick of fucking like dwelling on shit. You know what I mean? And it's not even that it's shit. It's just, I mean, these are, these are, there's an offer coming, a stable offer. It's, it's probably taken a long ass time to get there too. Or maybe this is you taking your sweet ass time to, to get to somebody. I don't know. But this is what's waiting. And and maybe it's, look, this guy wanting to talk to this guy. You know? It's like something's going to speed up. This, but I kind of feel like also there's this energy of somebody like s seriously stepping into your power once you remember that you already got all the power with inside you. And like the only thing that's holding you up is you and your like 
worry about what everybody's going to think about you acting this way. You know, I have had moments in my life where I have actually made myself like not stick out as much because I knew that the people I, w I was with didn't like it. And that's on me. Okay. That's not like, why? Like I need, to, I need, and then I realized like, I need better friends, you know, because I don't, I don't ever want any of my friends to like dull their shine when they're around me. I mean, I like, I just, I, I, I don't get it. I'm in competition with no one. The one that I'm in competition with is myself, like mastering my own fucking mind. Because you know what? Like, I don't need anybody else to freaking like beat me up. Honestly, go get your life. This is who you are on the inside. This is who you are. The emperor doesn't fuck around. Like he doesn't like, he doesn't need anybody to freaking tell him what to do. The emperor knows who the fuck he is. <sighs> Enough. Enough. Go get what's yours. Yeah, it's like, you already know. Like, this is like... <sighs> Waiting. Waiting for what? Like... <sighs> I'm hearing this other song. When you... Something about when you would... If you knew better, you would do better. So when you do know better, like, just go get it. Like, this just feels like somebody's, like, super in their head. They know exactly what they want to do, but it's just, like, taking that final step. This could involve, like, an apology to somebody or, reconcile, like, reuniting with somebody. Uh, let's see what advice is because I could just like go here all day because this is just, this is a bunch of like, nobody sticks baby in the corner. That's what I just heard. <laughs> Man, you guys, let's, let's just do it together. You know what I mean? Like we're all in this together. I feel you. I mean, like, just doing, like, little things to, like, build up to this moment. I knew, like, the moment would come, you know, where I would, like, feel like myself again. Like, I finally feel like I'm like, oh, like, I'm not going back there. Like, I'm, I won't go back, you know, back to, like, the mindset, back to this being stuck. Yeah, it's just like, all right, let's see. Let's get advice for the collective today. Protection. Dream big. Okay. So this is your, this is your, this is your moment is what I just heard. This is your moment. Whatever it is that you're afraid to do, like all the fears that start getting attached to it, that keep you stuck like this, to not make your move because this woman, like she can wiggle out of this. Okay. And then take the blindfold off and then boom, pow, she can move. Okay. So whatever it is, it's keeping you stuck. Just know, like, like it's not going to happen. Like the, the, the worst case scenario, somebody, this is another thing. Something I'll say is you picture when you're nervous about doing something, when you're in this energy, okay? And you're like, I always go to the worst case scenario, the absolute fucking worst case scenario. I know that that's what's going to happen, okay? Until somebody told me to think of the worst case scenario, Lisa, and then you think of the best possible scenario. And I'm like, okay. And you know what happens? Something right in the middle. That woman has never been wrong. I have done that many, many times, and she's never been wrong. Like, every single time, something in the middle always happens. So, that is my advice to you. Dream big. 
dream big. God's got you. God, the universe, whoever it is that you associate with. This is consultant up uh, and an expert and synchronicity. So this tells me that you're getting signs. Like you already know what to do. I feel honestly like as soon as you, like maybe this is about like talking to somebody or maybe this is about like putting something into action. I, it's it, Obviously it's putting some for, form of plan into action. And maybe um, this consultant, an expert, like, You know, it could be as simple as, you know, watching a YouTube video. It could be as simple as going to see a counselor, you know, and talking to them about like just what's going on in your head. Or maybe some of you, I just heard some of you need to talk to a lawyer to see what your rights are. But this is stay optimistic, okay? Watch your thoughts. Music. Music for manifesting. Say what you need to say. I'm hearing that song now. Say what you need to say. So, there you have it, guys. I love you. Activate your sexy and have a great fucking day. Like, just go get your life. <laughs> anyway.